Hello everybody, welcome back to Mike's Place. And today we'll focus on Maker's Mark. So, quick backstory about me versus Maker's Mark. A year and a half ago, if you asked me what I thought about Maker's Mark, their entry-level bourbon, I would probably just go, no thank you. Nothing wrong with it, just not to my palate. And then I tried the Maker's 46, and it blew me away. And that's what got me into the wood finishing series. After that, it was Maker's Cast Strength, Maker's Cast Strength 46, Store Picks, SC4 PR5, and then this year we got FAE01, and FAE02 is now in my hands. So, yeah, I've become kind of a Maker's fanboy. I did join the Ambassador program, um, so I've done... A 180 since a year and a half ago and how do these stack up let's find out first of all uh, the FAE01 is 110.6 proof and the O2 is 109.1 so the second release this year is a little stronger uh, let's play with this little plastic wax cap you know Knob Creek could learn a thing or two from Maker's Mark regarding wax tops. I can't stand opening Knob Creek bottles. So, the O2. How do they stack up? Let's see. The one. Really spicy nose. A lot of barrel char. Um, if you like aged bourbons that taste like a rack house or a rick house, say it however you want to, that's your one. This one, it has some citrus, more vanilla, uh, baking spice. So on the nose at least, the uh, O2 seems to have really more of a softer, sweeter uh, smells, whereas the O1, more of that barrel hit of spice. Palette. Yep, you can tell I've enjoyed this one. Spicy barrel char, Rick House. Um, it's all those good things about bourbon that we love in the barrel itself. O2, first time trying it. That was nice. That's like apple pie nice. That um, warm crust that has some of the filling still attached to it. The outer edge piece. Um, just what an amazing flavor that is. Now on the bottle, it does say that this one is uh, full bodied uh, with oak and rich creamy finish. I will give it the creamy finish for sure. And whereas this one really is expressing more of those barrel flavors. so. Either way, can't go wrong. Um, I love them both. Like I said, I'm a Maker's fan. And if you are too, I would head out and try to find one of these. See you guys.